next-gen sequencing affects humans, plants, and bacterial life in a bunch of really interesting novel ways. For human beings, we're able to develop new types of screens and tests and therapies for patients that have a whole broad spectrum of different types of diseases. For plants, we're able to increase productivity and yield of different types of mainstay crops across the world. And we can also be able to develop new types of computational techniques to run atop that data to be able to really give us new insights into the progression of disease. So 2003 was the scientific community's first attempt at sequencing the entirety of the human genome, in which we discovered that it cost roughly $3 billion to perform that task and about 13 years of computational power to do the same. So flash forward to nowadays, we've cumulatively sequenced about 2 million whole human genomes, and we expect that number to get up to around 100 million in 2023, which would expand the addressable sequencing market from about $3 billion today to a little bit north of 20 billion in five years. With all of this new data that we're generating, we can leverage new computational techniques running off of deep learning or machine learned architecture to be able to go in and yield actionable information that beforehand wasn't possible.